What's up guys, PDC here, and today we are narrating another SPL game, ADVOU. Uh, it's Callus versus Kevin Garrett. Uh, Callus is on the Tigers, and Kevin Garrett is on the Sharks, as usual. Uh, this is Callus' debut game in SPL, and Kevin Garrett has been a mainstay since SPL 1, and I'm here with Tokyo Tom. Uh, introduce yourself, Ryan. Hello, um, I'm Tokyo Tom. I'm managing the bigs this year, and um, looking forward to this game. That's already started, I guess. Alright. <laughs> so, uh, Kalos leads with Zapdos, Kevin Garrett leads with Pitar. And that focus a lot. Yikes. Bad damage? Yeah, yeah. I, I would think that'd have to be Bantar. Um, that definitely looks like it'd be a ban uh, Bantar damage roll. So, Kalos has a Claydol. Looking at the team, this might be a... It, it kind of depends, but I've seen a lot of, um... Played all Skarm, uh, Zapdos teams recently. Play light screen Zapdos, and Kevin Garrett has a Cloister, so that means that KG is probably running a more offensive team. Um, probably has a Gengar as well. Uh, looking at, I mean, Claydol is not as good um, against Cloister because usually no nowadays they care refresh to beat Skarmory. Not all of them, but but quite a few. Uh, over Psycho. Uh, what? Over, over Psychic. Uh, usually it's over Explosion. Usually it's EQ, Refresh, Psychic, uh, Earthquake. Um, oh, okay. Rapid Spin, yeah. I was gonna say, um, since Spikes, I think Spikes was the 100% play for Kevin Garrett. And especially since Kalos is using an offensive team, uh, Kevin Garrett would expect him to switch. I would have liked to see a Psychic there. It just, that would have really dented the cloister. Um, but I mean, obviously, you know, he needs it for the tar, and it was a risky play, but I, I, I really don't think Kevin Garrett would have gone for an attack on that. Oh, uh, for sure. Um, I mean, looking at, uh, he has a Blissey, which is interesting. Maybe that team is a bit more defensive than I thought. Um, I'm thinking of the ZF offense team with Cloyster, which is really good. I, Ojama actually used it earlier today. And we see Blissey from Kalos. Looking at Kalos' team, I'm almost 100% sure that it's a defensive type. Uh, last month's could be, I mean, he's going to need um, a second arrow check, probably. He might have spikes in his own. Um, interesting team. Probably has a T-Tar uh, for pursuing. It, it, it looks like, you know, Kalos decided to go defensive, and Kevin Garrett is obviously going to be having M-Dragon's help, and yeah, he's just going to go straight out the CV-Tar, and Kalos double backs to Zapdos. Um, if this Zapdos doesn't have Protect, I mean, Kevin Garrett can just HP uh, Bug here if he wants, or Focus Punch again. It doesn't really matter, because I'm almost positive KG has... Uh, Gengar as well, so he can block spin probably, and you don't want to be switching in um, Claydol in on a CB Tar by any means. That's not an easy switch to make after you've already taken a Focus Punch, and you have yeah. the of HP bugs. So yeah, I don't know. Kevin Garrett right now is outplaying Kalos pretty well. I'm not sure why he doubled back to Zapdos. I mean, the pair of Blissey is kind of CB Tar food, and yeah, oh, he gets lucky with the crit, and yeah, there's wow. the HP bug. All right, Kalos makes a a good play, but he gets lucky, um, that was a good play on his part. Um, I was just gonna ask, um, what kind of water should we expect to see on a team like Kalos's? Would it be Suicune or Melodic or something? Um, I don't need, I don't think he needs Swampert if you're running Claydol. Uh, it right, that's, yeah. Be, oh, wow, Kalos is actually playing pretty well. He predicted the HP bug, which is, um, a real nice move on his part. Uh, I mean, the crit, of course, was really lucky because now T-Tar can't really come in again. But, I mean, it can still be a threat. I mean, CB Tar isn't dead yet. Um, I would say it'd probably be Kuhn. I, I don't think he would have a Swamper. And, yeah, there's there's T-Bolt. Here's the Ice Beam. Whoa, 53. Right. <laughs> hmm. That might be a... L uh, looking at the Calx, that might be a more offensive Zapdos than I thought. Uh, I don't know if Kevin Garrett has a second Zapdos switch. He probably does. You know, he might have um, another Mon the Tank and Electric move. I'm not sure. Uh, right. I mean, that's actually pretty hard-hitting. That's, that's a strong Thunderbolt, and that's just actually going to be a little problematic. Yep, there's a T-Tar. There's a soft boy. I was going to say, um, unless the Blissey is Calm Mind, or if his water is, you know, Roar Suicune, um, Palace's team might struggle a bit with, uh, opposing Calm Mind Suicune, but I guess he has that full offensive Zapdos right there, so... Yeah. Uh, uh, mitigates the issue a bit, but if 
I, I was going to say, like, if it were a bulkier Zapdos, then offensive sweep be an issue for the team. Uh, oh, okay, <coughs> for sure, because, I mean, for, for one, he has, um, well, Blissey, Blissey beats Coom without rest. Uh, because even if it's, as long as it has Estos, it beats it. Now, uh, KG okay. is, oh, oh wow. damn! Kaos is the Ooh, that... one. That is, that actually did a lot. <laughs> that might mean the Metagross is clearly faster than the, uh, Tyranitar, though, because I'm pretty sure that's a max attack roll. Uh, Metagross can't kill Titar here, but we see a Melodic, yeah, it's, it's gonna be either Kuhn or Melodic. And Meteor Mash is not doing up, and even though Kevin Garrett has spikes, I, he, he definitely has a Gengar in the back. Um, he might have a Gengar Aerodactyl, um, as the final two. But, yeah, this is actually, damn, I mean... It, it's not like it's a clear match of advantage. I mean, KG still has a layer of spikes down, and he can easily get another one, but... I mean, at the moment, yeah, this is actually... Uh, Kallus is, is playing way better than I would expect him to. He doubles back to uh, Zapdos, which is a good play, um, I guess. I mean, it's going to be a sacrifice there, trying to dodge an explosion. I, I don't think Kevin Garrett would have exploded there. He probably could have gotten a recover off of Melodic. I think that might have been the play, because now it's coming in at 50. And... Now I'm at- oh, nice! Okay, so Kevin Garrett makes a good play, actually. That is a good play by KG. Now he has a CB Tar in, and it opens up the field quite a bit. It depends on what play he makes, but yeah, I mean... Kalos could just sack Zapdos here if he wants, because Zapdos right. isn't going to be doing too much anymore. Uh, if he wants to be safe, yeah, that's the play. And there's a Yeah, there. there we go. Who joined? Who joined? Oh, it's, it's, uh, Windy. Windsong? Yeah, alright. So Windsong is here with uh, two. All right, we got a wind song also narrating, and there's the Doug Trio. All right, so he traps the Tsar. Zapdos comes in. Um, I would have figured Kevin Garrett would have a Gengar because at the moment that team is kind of slow. Um, he also probably needs a better Aerodactyl check. Oh, is that choice bet? Oh, oh no, no, that's that's, that's, Nyx. that's Nyx. Zapdos. HK fighting drill pack. Um, Thunder. <laughs> and yep. It's actually really- it's, it's probably gonna talk to the Cleadol here too, because this is actually going to be a pain in the ass for Kallus to deal with. He can't switch Titar in, Yogshiro can't do anything, he can't right. beat it with Blissey anymore. Melodic is losing the T-Bolt, even if it's not invested, and yeah, there's a Toxic, and here's a spin. Uh, yeah, uh, Kallus has a pretty safe option here, I mean, he has multiple months, which can really just clean this up. Uh, it's definitely his interest to let down, to put spikes down again, because at the moment, his team, all you need is one layer of spikes uh, to punish Blissey forever and take it out of the game, so. I mean, at the moment, I, I thought Kevin Garrett was getting outplayed, but he is certainly bringing it back. Um, it, if he was ever... Is Will the Cloyster be a safe uh, switch here? Oh, there's oh, refresh. Yeah, oh, refresh. Oh, whoa, that is... That's actually pretty common nowadays. It's obvious, you know, it's it's, it's the tech for Skarmory, but it's not going to do anything against Claydol. Mm -hmm. uh, See, I'd like him to Psychic here. I, I really think he can um, abuse, yeah. That's not even Okay, that, did, that did less than I thought it would do, but... Now, but, uh, Claydol has to switch. Claydol has to switch, and Blissey can't come in. Uh, he... This is actually... If he has Surf, then that's really dangerous. I mean, he has to go with the Melodic here, I guess. Um, because I don't really think you can risk having the only real Zap counter you have get damaged. And right. if KG wants, he can just explode here. Um, don't know if that's... I mean, I don't know what his last is. Like, he can easily go to a free Zap through switch, but I don't know if he wants that today at Toxic. I don't think he would want it to take much damage. And yeah, uh, there's another perfect. Spike layer. That's not good for uh, Kallus at all. Blissey is now going to be down, and an Explosion is basically free if he wants to go for it. Yep, there's a Surf. Blissey's going to come in, and Blissey is going to be strong enough to scare away the uh, Claydol as well with the max special attack Ice Beam from what's to do. So, Kevin Garrett's playing pretty well, I mean, for what it's worth. Um, and Zapdos also scares off Claydol with a Toxic plus Drill Bug, so... Not scares off, but it definitely does, I think, maybe 30 with the max attack Joe Peck, and then you can Toxic on Switch. Fatal does not have longevity, and it can't really fight back well against Zapdos either, because Psychic is not going to be doing enough consistently. Uh, did we see the fourth move on it? Um, what, Blissey? Uh, assume it. I oh, assume yeah, it's Ice Beam. Toss, yeah. It, it, yeah, it's definitely should be s -toss because if you're running physically offensive, um, Zapdos, I mean, he could be running Fire Blast on, on Ice Beam Blissey, but usually it's going to be s -toss. That's a good play. Um, 
Melonic is actually kind of annoying. Uh, I'm debating on whether he should have just went for the boom or not. Um, because this is actually kind of a pain. I mean, it's not like it really... Like, he has two explosions, which can easily auto-kill it. And he has Zapdos as well. And he has an Unrevealed Blast, which, like I said, I'd imagine it'd be something a little quicker, maybe, for speed control. Um, than a probably 270 Zapdos, but... I mean, at the moment, Kevin Garrett, you know, he's... I'm sure he knows what he's doing. He's not in any real losing position, and he has two Exploders and a mix Zapdos, which, you know, prevents Kitar from being a pain. I, I would like to see what better. Is the rest of the uh, Metagross set? I, I assume it's, you know, HP. Well, um... At, at the moment, his team is actually kind of annoyed by Swampert, so I wouldn't be shocked to see an HP Grass Metagross here. Um... Yeah, there's, okay, Surf, uh, Thunder Wave, he decides to paralyze it, that's, that's okay, I mean, Kevin Garrett's team is not really, <sighs> he, he has Zapdos to break it, that's not a big deal, and Explosion plus Spikes is still doing it. Well, now he has to worry about, uh, the Doug, oh, okay, I, I was thinking, uh, Kalos could have been aggressive and, um... Yeah, I would have thought go Dougie there and yeah, then you could trap the Bliss. Him. Yep, there's Okay, there. well now, yeah, now the switch is telegraphed. That's a good play by Kyle. Yeah, I don't know the Kyle got explosion here on a plus one Milotic, but... I well, he probably wouldn't want to, um, probably wouldn't want to stay in anyway, right? Even if it doesn't kill, it'll, uh, um, yeah, put it oh, in gross Yeah, 45, range. that's doing jack, and, yeah, of course the... Three yeah, but this, this, uh, dies to HP grass now, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, sorry, he wouldn't want to kill the Milotic with gross because he'll get trapped. The Zapdos now causes a lot yeah, of problems. Yeah, I mean, he still wants Metagross around. I mean, Zapdos is... I I mean, he can go straight out to, to Claydol and kill some spikes. But then it's kind of like a then what situation. Because if you get the Toxic, you force a refresh, you can drill back it. Um, I mean, yeah, this... If Kalos wants, he can save the Melodic, which is kind of the big deal. I don't know what KG's last is. Um, I... I like I said, I, I would think it'd be something that could better handle Vivitar. Um, maybe it's a Flygon. Maybe it's a Flygon. I mean, I'm thinking it'd be that. I don't know what's set, though. I, I would imagine it'd be a Flygon. That, that's all I can really say. Because, I mean, Aerodactyl is a little bit of spikes. Alright. I'm seeing a little slow here. You said Gengar earlier, which... I said Gengar, well, yeah, I said Gengar earlier, because... Earlier, I think he yeah. definitely want more speed. And let, does Estos kill here? Yeah, Estos should kill. Uh, yeah, it's... I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah, Melodic is under 400 used to... Yeah, it's killing it. Um, so Estos is... I mean, I don't know what the Estos uh, is. Yeah. speed about is on Glee Hall. Does, does Gar synergize well with that Zapdos? I, I suppose so, right? The thing is, then he's I mean, really clear, Selby, Tark. Yeah, that's true. Like, having your only rock resist be a Metagross, which is taking 50 plus from EQ, yeah, I'm not a big fan. Yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, I think his last is Flygon, because at the moment, I mean, DV Tar is just such a pain in the ass. Um... I mean, this Blissey puts on the pressure for sure. I mean, he either goes straight Claydol, lets Melodic die, he can't go Blissey, Blissey dies to Spikes. Doug Trio can't kill Blissey from here, um, unless it's out of Doug, and even then, I mean, do you really want to lose your Doug Trio immediately? Um, I don't know. It's, it's a tough play, but I mean, KG just obviously has tosses here. He's going to be safe from the Doug. Um, and he's not going to be immediately threatened by pretty much anything else. I mean, it depends on the t the teats are set as well. Uh, he can just get a T-Wave off if he's really that afraid of it being DD or something. But it's interesting, this is- I mean, Kalos, he's playing better than I expected him to play. Like, really. Um... I do think, uh, to win some this point earlier, Kalos did have a really good chance to, um, go make the aggressive play with Doug there um, and remove the Blissey. And even if the Doug fainted, uh, you know, he didn't necessarily need it for Metagross. 
add a good amount of each. And now the Blissey kind of... Uh... So there's a plate all play, and here's the Ice Beam. Uh, unless he wants to block spin with the unrevealed Gengar. I mean, Ice Beam is doing maybe 45, I would think, 45-ish from the max special attack list. Oh, there's the Gengar. Yeah, yeah I don't there think Kallus is expecting Gengar. Yeah, and this is going to be a real pain because I don't know the exact set, but you're living a Psychic, and chances are at this, this health, you're going to a KOing with Ice Punch if you have any... Uh, real investment, which uh, I don't know if Kevin Garrett has, but yeah, this is actually definitely annoying. Because now Melodic can't take a T-Ball. Uh, you have T-Tar, but looking at the investment, yeah, it's going to be... Uh, Alright, pinks that really well. Go for the Ice Punch again. I guess you can go... And... What were you gonna say? Wait, do we um did Kallus' T Tar set get revealed? Uh it's mass I'm pretty it's, sure it's it's most likely DD, right? It has the leftovers and then it has the max attack earthquake. Yeah, at least I think that was max attack okay. because it did uh fifty seven to Metagross. Fifty seven, yeah. yeah. And you'd like to think AG's Metagross is at least somewhat bulky since it's his only DD chart, DD chart check. Yeah, for sure. Um, well, he has T Wave Blissey, I guess. I mean, it's a, it's a hard it's a hard team for DD Tar to set up on. So, mm -hmm. and that's definitely. Yep, there's a Melodic switch, and here is the T Tar, the only counter. KG, I mean, Callus has left. We'll see what he wants to do here. Uh, couldn't he have gone Doug here? Mm, yeah, uh, but I don't know. It's. If he goes Doug, it's either you have to Rock Slide or predict an Earthquake, and yeah, yeah, that's it. That's, that's yeah, it. there it is. That's it. Because now he can... Oh, wow. That was... Yeah, um... I don't know about that lay there. That was not... That made no sense. Because... Oh, oh, now it's just... Oh, he's, my he's God. Done. Why, okay, now that doesn't... That doesn't the first time didn't make sense. But the second time didn't make sense even more because you earthquake there, but yeah. Kevin Garrett has no incentive to switch because your win condition is gone now. Now his win condition is just Zapdos because you have nothing to beat it with. I I, I just don't get it. That that I, what was he even predicting? Because if Kevin Garrett has Wisp, he goes for it. Because if it's Divitar, it automatically wins if you switch. That just makes. Well, the only sense. thing Ethan would hit is is Metagross if he. I, I guess if he assumed that a plus one earthquake would it well I mean we already saw the damage and a plus one earthquake definitely kills the Metagross, so it just makes Yeah, no I'm not really sure no what sense. was going on there. It makes no sense because now Drill Peck gets a kill hundred percent. And then he goes Metagross. Um and then Zap the Well the game is over. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, it's so bad. It, it no Dougie sense. plays for the flinch on that, but he could get a flinch on Zapdos, but that, that, that's assuming that he doesn't have Metagross or he throws it away. I mean, here's the thing. Yeah. It, it made no sense to Earthquake there, because if you're DD, Kevin Garrett, if, if Kevin Garrett has Wisp, which almost every Gengar has, he's going to use it, because if you're a Dragon Dance, you, you DD up and you win that situation 100%. If you're not DD, then it doesn't even matter, because then if you Wisp Titar, then Blissey can win. So, it, it makes absolutely no sense in any situation to go for Earthquake. You kill the guard there, and... Just had to play for questions. Yeah, that just made no sense. That was... I mean, I don't think that Kallus yeah, could that... run from that situation anyway, but Earthquake was just a hilariously bad play. I think he could have dd He didn't necessarily have to remove the guard there. Yeah, um, I mean, if he dd I he play for his If he dd I think it was possible. And look, he, he says if I had a flinch, I had a chance, but th there's no way. Okay, if he had Adam and Doug, them, right? I really think he should have gone on that turn where Blissey was toxic. It was at 38. Yeah. He really should have gone was into... That huge um, misplay. But it makes no... It, he says if he had a flinch, he had a chance. That's not true at all, because he flinches here, he goes Metagross, then he gets the kill on Blissey, and then he's forced to EQ. That makes no sense. I mean, what he, what he should have done is trap the Blissey early, especially if he's adamant, because... Cal certainly is not above making really ballsy plays, like, by any means. I mean, he stayed in on T-Tar with his Zapdos, and, I mean, um, 
and he, I mean, he got lucky with the crit, but he should, yeah, that was just not a good play at all. It, I think Kallus had some moments, but he did not play that optimi optimally. He misplayed on really crucial turns, and he just let Kevin Garrett kind of run around him at the, at the end game. So, yeah, I, I don't. Uh -huh. <laughs> Any all right? So game's over. We see Kallus coming out with the 0-1 debut. Um, not unexpected. Uh, I mean, he played a fine game up until that last little. Oh yeah, uh, no, it was definitely a game, but at the very end, I, I think that the plays he made were, were, yeah, not not good. And I mean, if he had DD, he should have run for it. That, that's really all I can say. Um, yeah. It was, you know, an okay game. It was certainly entertaining to watch, but. The doctor remains victorious. So, any last words, Ryan Winslow? Brett. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna end it off here then. Uh, until next time, we got more SPO coverage, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.